I remember taking this photo. God, seeing it like this. It's not what Anna needed. The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Why is it so dark in here? This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. I guess Anna must have left it on, but she had her laptop with her. Is this Nick's? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't. Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Hello? Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Sorry! I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go!
Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is there something wrong with your mom? No. I'm running away because things are so great. Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. I'm here now, Bug. I have your back. I promised you I would look into your father's death, and I'm doing it. I'm here now, Bug. Listening. I was there in the parking lot, listening. Yeah, well... But... You're just gonna leave... again... another two years? Forever? I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. Didn't you see all the people who showed up at his funeral? This town has a hole the size of your dad in it right now. Everyone feels like you do. Your mom is probably just as sad as you are. Just as broken up about it. But she doesn't listen. They don't listen. Every time I try and talk about it, people just give me this look. This place is full of gutless patronizing adults. And I'm sick of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In 10 years? You like insects. How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs. You remember? Yeah, bugs are cool. That does sound fun. You can leave Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. It won't be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. You're just telling me what I want to hear, or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth, for once, from someone. 
I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you, I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going, and you can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. I'll call your mother. What? Don't! I'll call her right now. Don't! You can't just run away. Fine! I'll go home! Don't call her! It's for your own good, Bug. It's too dangerous for you out there. Whatever! You're just like everyone else! Ooh, harsh. But fair. Sorry, Bug. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town... Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? Joan always liked bugs. Joan always liked bugs. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly, Bug was there, too. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. <sighs> Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Don't see the keys. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. <laughs> what a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Bug never was the social type, just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Man, Bug certainly grew up faster than I realized. She still has a long way to go. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood.
Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? All right, I think I went through everything here. If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Huh. 
No, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Aw, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack.
Let's see what we have here. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Richard, a.k.a. Dicky, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dicky, Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. <laughs> 